during the this course of the discussion say the paper is absolutely doable it can be uh, you know absolutely dealable paper hai. and hello guys welcome to yojana is this is akshay guru and today we are here just to discuss one of the most important current paper okay not current event or current issue that is current paper as a whole that is almost like of 25 to 30 different issues as and yeah that is of geography optional paper 1 2023 i hope guys like as you are watching this video in that sense you are somehow like uh, having decided that geography right you will take geography as optional or like at least you are in the process of having this optional right so like while the discussion what like you will realize ki geography as your decision right or that particular uh, like even if you are having inclination for so that is absolutely uh, going well for you right well for you in the sense right ki the nature of questions okay and how to approach those questions right it is comparatively i believe right on the easier track ठीक है क्वेश्चन बहुत ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट लेवल पे नहीं थे क्वेश्चन बहुत ज्यादा और भी नहीं थे क्वेश्चन जो नेचर है राइट यू विल फाइंड लॉट्स ऑफ कनेक्शन विद द थियोरटिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड अगेन लाइक से सम कनेक्शन विद द करंट अफेयर्स इशू सो आई बिलीव ये जो पेपर था दैट पेपर इट सीम्स लाइक ए प्रॉपर ब्लेंड ऑफ द थ्योरी एंड करंट अफेयर्स सो यू विल रियलाइज लाइक during the this course of this discussion say the paper is absolutely doable it can be uh, you know absolutely dealable paper hai. and along with right if you are having good enough content okay or strong uh, hand over the content of geography you will find ki aap ye cheez ko aur bhi better way se kar sakte ho because uh, you must be knowing ki answer matlab jo paper hai har kisi ke liye same hai questions hai jo har kisi ke liye same hai the thing is how you present your ideas how you just mold your content according to the demand of the question that is what a real skill and now in the uh, this discussion Uh, what i would like to mention this thing first right ki dekho uh, jo session hai i am trying to like keep it short bahut bhi zyada lengthy na ho aur bahut bhi zyada short na ho right so in that sense ke just like within a appropriate time limit i am expecting right this session to be completed so yahan pe hamara approach kya hoga the approach is as simple right just to understand the real demand of the question the nature of the question and then the kind of structuring that you are supposed to right kyunki yahan pe pura paper ya pura question as it is discuss karna keeping all those points so uh, that it seems ki lengthy discussion ho jayega in that case but still i'll try to provide you each and every point that is in connection with right that particular issue or that particular area so now just with this uh, like disclaimer okay and information as right i would like to start this session of geography optional paper 1 2023 so dekho paper 1 geography optional as i told you it is like of easy to moderate category not even on the difficult side maybe there are some questions ya kuch areas rahenge jo aapko pata nahi bhi ho sakte hai theek hai like ocean ranching wala case hoga ya maybe barometric slope se aap to halki se confused ho jayenge but believe me guys like this even this particular area just could be dealable agar aap big basic us pe thought doge to it just because ki geography optional mein aapko koi right bahut zyada odd areas se questions nahi milenge gray areas se questions nahi milenge the reason being ki the subject is you know more or less gs bhi covered hota hai current affairs mein bhi hota hai to iske bahut sare areas jo hai na ye well known hi hote hai so rarely you will find ki jo topic hai ya jo area hai jo ke you are you seems not aware about exactly theek hai so if you are having basic idea absolutely aap isko prepare sahi se aur tackle kar sakte ho so without wasting time then see the very first question question 1a 
कंपलसरी क्वेश्चन है मैंडेटरी इन द नेचर फाइव सब क्वेश्चन आर देयर क्वेश्चन वन एज यू नो क्वेश्चन वन एंड क्वेश्चन फाइव ये मैंडेटरी क्वेश्चन होते हैं एंड फाइव सब सेक्शन आर देयर ईच कैरिंग टेन मार्क्स तो फिफ्टीन मार्क्स फिफ्टी मार्क्स नाउ यू हैव टू अटेम ईच ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ सी क्वेश्चन क्या है What is geostropic wind? Even this, I believe this point, right? You will find that GS may be covered. Hota hai. Explain the relationship between barometric slope and air circulation. So, question is having clear two demands, right? Two demands are there. First is geostropic wind. Second, the relation between barometric slope and air circulation. Simple. Two things are there. Two things you have to address. Karni hai. So. इंट्रोडक्शन तो आपको वैसे भी क्वेश्चन ने दे दिया राइट वॉट एक्सप्लेन जियोस्ट्रॉफिक विंड सो इन इंट्रोडक्शन यू आर नॉट सपोज टू राइट बिट अराउंड द बुश डायरेक्टली एड्रेस द डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन कि जियोस्ट्रॉफिक विंड क्या सो वॉट आर जियोस्ट्रॉफिक विंड जियोस्ट्रॉफिक विंड आर सिंपली दोज विंड लाइक विच आर एक्चुअली रिजल्ट ऑफ द काउंटर एक्टिंग फोर्स ऑफ कुरियल फोर्स एंड प्रेशर ग्रेडियंट फोर्स एंड दैट इट लीड्स टू देर मूवमेंट पैरल टू द आइसोबार्स Usually these are upper air westerly sorry upper air winds hai, and you will find its examples are like jet stream like Rossby waves okay ये कुछ इसके examples है of geostrophic winds then what you need to like there is needed right diagram क्योंकि geography आ optional answer write कर रहे हो geography GS answer write कर रहे हो don't forget to add some you know Not innovative as to say, but at least कोई diagram आपको add करनी है उस section में. Fine. So diagram and explain its characteristics. क्योंकि जब question define कर दोगे definition of geostrophic wind, that is not you know uh, fulfilling the true demand of the question. Question is geostrophic wind बताओ diagram करो और उसकी characteristics. Like it is upper air you usually like moving at a high speed, a parallel to isobars, and that particular way you need to. And in the next case, second. part of the main body relationship between barometric slope and air circulation so as you must be aware about ke barometer barometer kya hota hai barometer it is simply that measures pressure right a barometric slope kya hoga it is simply from high value of barometer to low value of barometer it means we can write high pressure value low pressure value yes and high pressure to low pressure you must be knowing winds move from or air move if air is moving from high pressure to low pressure that is called known as wind itself so what is the relationship between barometric slope and air circulation it drives the intensity of movement in fact we can write the more is the barometric slope right the more is the barometric slope you will find higher intensity of air circulation और भी ज्यादा हो गया यू विल फाइंड इट अगर स्लोप ज्यादा है डिफरेंस ज्यादा है राइट इन दैट केस इट मे इवन लीड टू एटमोस्फेरिक डिस्टर्बेंसेस लाइक साइक्लोन लाइक एंटी साइक्लोन्स एंड सम अदर फिनोमिनास यस सो सिंपली द क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ थियोरटिकल नेचर आर फ्रॉम क्लाइमेटोलॉजी सेक्शन एब्सोल्युटली ऑफ डूएबल कैटेगरी सिर्फ आपको कंफ्यूज कर सकता है ये बायोमेट्रिक स्लोप वाला बट अगर इसको भी अगर लॉजिकली सोचोगे यू विल रियलाइज दैट इज इजी टू डील विद ठीक है एंड इन द कंक्लूजन दस के रिलेशन बिटवीन यू कैन रीअफॉर्म द रिलेशन बिटवीन दम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेकेंड वॉट इज ओशन रैंचिंग आवर एक्वा का उज रिलेटेड टू सच एक्टिविटीज सी सिंपल दो डिमांड है क्वेश्चन के फाइव फाइव मार्क्स ऑलमोस्ट यूल फाइन इंट्रोडक्शन क्या करना है क्वेश्चन ही नहीं है क्योंकि पूछ ही रहा है वॉट इज ओशन रैंचिंग सो योर इंट्रोडक्शन शुड स्टार्ट विद the definition of ocean ranching what is ocean ranching ocean ranching it is simply rearing of marine animals marine animals hai or maybe marine biotic life as well if you consider like plants bhi ho sakte animals ho sakte more appropriately iska tilt rahega animal towards right so ocean ranching is a phenomena as simple that deals with great the the rearing of animal species mainly marine right marine like fishes like prawns like maybe dolphin as well you will find ocean ranching activity okay ab fir question kya hai now you will be like ki sir humne fulfill kar diya demand absolutely not definition believe me is not the fulfilling of demand of the question in main body you have to explain further this nature of ocean ranching ab hoga demand fulfill right nature and characteristics of spatial distribution of oceanic ranching 
which type of animals are being reared, where you will find the kind of special distribution there and what kind of benefit that it attributes to. ये आपको लिखना पड़ेगा वहां पे एंड एट द एंड कनेक्टेड विद दी एक्वा कॉस क्योंकि अब सेकेंड डिमांड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन पे भी तो जाना है या तो जस्ट लाइक एट द एंड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट कनेक्टेड विद विद्वाइस एक्वाइज और से द कैरेटेकर राइट जस्ट लाइक ऑफ लाइक इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज ऑफ दो ओशानिक रैंस एनिमल विल फाइंड प्ले इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट रोल इन दिस प्रोसेस एंड देन एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एक्वा कॉवॉयस अब एक्वा कॉवॉयस का क्या होता है So as you must be knowing, right? कि जैसे कि कॉबॉल जो होते हैं राइट वो जो के एनिमल हर्ड जो है वहां पे प्रोटेक्ट करते हैं यहाँ पर भी इनका सेम काम है यू विल फाइंड एक्वा कॉबॉयज आर लाइक दे आर सो फास्ट स्विमर्स दे आर क्वाइट हैबिचुअल विद दिस से वॉटर रिलेटेड एक्टिविटी एंड ओवर देन यू विल फाइंड दे विल they will they will release the fish seeds hai maybe animal seeds hai they will rear the animal there they take care of this animal protect this animals hai and even collect the outputs taken by this animals right ab iska current affairs se context agar context agar dekhoge to tamil nadu government and like maybe other uh, world governments as well you will find the tamil nadu government has released say some fish seeds again under oceanic ranching activity done राइट एक्वा काउबॉयस के कुछ रोल्स आपने एक्सप्लेन कर दिया है डिस्पर्शन ऑफ द फिश सीड्स या एनिमल्स है स्प्रेड प्रोटेक्शन कलेक्शन एंड सर्विलेंस ऑल दिस एक्टिविटीज आर रिलेटेड विद दी एक्वा काउबॉयस यस एंड द कंक्लूजन दस ओशानिक रैंचिंग इज एंड रोल ऑफ एक्वा काउबॉयज आर सो सिग्निफिकेंट इन दी ओवरऑल ब्लू इकोनॉमी और डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ मेरीन इको मेरीन इकोनॉमी Yes, simple, right? right? You can absolutely connect it and give it a fair conclusion. Then third, ten marker again. Explain the na natural process of soil enrichment and its impact on food production. See, two again, two demand is as simple. Explain the process of soil enrichment. I believe. इंट्रोडक्शन का आपको कैसे सोचना नहीं है इंट्रोडक्शन करना कैसा है यू फाइंड कि यहाँ पे इंट्रोडक्शन आपको प्लेन वे से दिख रहा है एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सॉइल एनरिचमेंट व्हाट इट मींस बाय सॉइल एनरिचमेंट सॉइल एनरिचमेंट इज सिंपली द एडिशन ऑफ और इंप्रूविंग द न्यूट्रिएंट वैल्यू की न्यूट्रिय बेस्ट वैल्यू ऑफ सॉइल तो सॉइल इज एन एग्रीगेट ऑफ मिनरल एंड द एडिशन ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड मिनरल इन टू दॉइल इज वॉट द प्रोसेस ऑफ सॉइल एनरिचमेंट then which are those processes right so define the soil enrichment you need to draw this as well like organic enrichment you will find ki kaise kaise natural process it is not asking you for man made process fertilizer nahi right neither like any other means of natural uh, sorry artificial addition of minerals the question is asking you for natural processes you will find like say for example volcano dekho volcano bhi add kar raha hai enrichment ke liye you will find process of weathering process of erosion yes erosion removal of material in a deposition at a far place ye bhi to soil enrichment wali process ho gayi then you will find okay, the role of biotic factors natural natural biotic factors right you will find say there are many species hai those are playing say this kind of role of soil enrichment earthworms you must be aware about earthworm kya kar raha hai simply soil enrichment hi to kar raha hai ऑर्गेनिक मैटर का डिले या यू कैन फर्दर कनेक्टेड विद लाइक से प्लांट एंड ऑर्गेनिक मैटर रिलीज दीज आर ऑल द प्रोसेस ऑफ सॉइल एंड रीचमेंट यस कीपिंग फोर फाइव फाइव पॉइंट यू कैन एड फर्दर ओन एंड देन इन द एंड कंक्लूजन हाउ राइट इट्स इम्पैक्ट ऑन फूड प्रोडक्शन हाउ सॉइल एंड रीचमेंट इट इम्पैक्ट ऑन फूड प्रोडक्शन इट इम्पैक्ट ऑन फूड प्रोडक्शन तो कैसे करोगे सिंपल है सॉइल एनरिचमेंट होगा तो न्यूट्रल अवेलेबिलिटी टू द प्लांट अल्टीमेटली डिसीज जो इम्यूनिटी पावर है ग्रोथ है न्यूट्रिय एनरिचमेंट है प्रोडक्टिविटी एज लाइक बायोमास यू विल फाइंड इट हेल्प अगेन फर्दर फॉर सॉइल और फूड प्रोडक्शन यस कनेक्ट एट दी एंड द प्रोसेस ऑफ सॉइल एनरिचमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइक से फॉर अचीवमेंट ऑफ एस डी जी टू फूड एंड हंगर food production ultimately food and hunger connect it with some broader view connect it with some optimistic approach futuristic way yeah so ho gaya yes
or again in the end you can write about some the apart from natural process there are some artificial processes as like uh, say in the modern day practices by human being right fertilizer add kar do jo bhi points aapke paas hai so i hope ye questions aapko clear hai diagram must be there like fourth question how is deep ecology as a concept is different from a shallow ecology okay it is shallow so how it is different from shallow ecology concept and what p ab yahan pe bahut clear hai thus like introduction aapko kuch bahut zyada karna hai nahi kyunki question straight forward hai 10 marker difference deep ecology shallow ecology so what do you have to see now deep ecology or shallow ecology concept mein kya hai deep ecology it simply believes in say shallow ecology kya hai shallow ecology it simply what like say no doubt we need to protect environment we need to protect our surrounding but up to the limit up like until when standard of living of human or the needs of human won't be sacrificed like for example plastic hum ban karenge but kaun sa plastic ban karenge jo plastic ya jis limit tak plastic environment ko hamper nahi kar raha aur human ki demand fulfill kar raha for example 50 micron wale plastic hum kya hai below 50 micron basically usko hum uh, uh, ban karenge kyu क्योंकि वो एक्सेसिव पोल्यूशन कर रहे हैं दैट इज नॉट अ वेरी मच यूज फॉर राइट बट अब फिफ्टी माइक्रॉन यस वी वी आर सपोज टू यूज द थिंग इज वी आर नॉट सपोज टू सैक्रीफाइस ह्यूमन स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लाइफ ह्यूमन बेसिक नीड्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट जस्ट फॉर द मैटर ऑफ एनवायरमेंट मतलब यहां पर सेंटर है ह्यूमन राइट right? और डीप इकोलॉजी में क्या है नो दैट ह्यूमन शुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज एन इक्वल एलिमेंट ओके और इक्वल पार्टिसिपेंट इन कंपेरिजन विद दी अदर फॉर्म्स ऑफ लाइफ राइट प्लांट है एनिमल है इन्हीं के पार्ट का ही एनिमल ह्यूमन भी एक पार्ट है एंड यू आर नॉट सपोज टू फोकस मेयरली ऑन ह्यूमन रादर फोकस ऑन दी होल लिविंग बायोटा एंड लिविंग आस्पेक्ट एस डीप इकोलॉजी इज वॉट मोर इंक्लाइन टूवर्ड्स से दिस एनवायरमेंटलिज्म that ban ultimately okay the vegetarian uh, non vegetarian in case vegan culture ye kya hai deep ecology ka reflection hai not at all but even milk is basically what not allowed to like in vegan culture right ye kya ho gaya deep ecology where excessive like human environment human should be considered as just a part of earth surface and not like the whole earth like is what belongs to the teleological approach ओके तो यहां पे देखो आप यू यू मे फाइंड दिस पॉइंट्स एज वेल यू कैन सी दिस स्लाइड्स एज तो ये रिकॉग्नाइजेस द इनेट वैल्यू ऑफ एवरी लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म हाउएर कंसर्न विद द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट ओनली द लिविंग एनवायरमेंट एज अ होल शुड बी रिस्पेक्टेड द सेल्फिश मोटिव बिहाइंड द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ ऑल एक्शंस ओके सो ह्यूमन एक्शंस आर नीडेड टू प्रोटेक्ट ओवर हियर लाइक इन शैलो इकोलॉजी इकोलॉजी में आपको यही करना मैंने एग्जांपल्स भी दिए हैं एब्सोल्युटली राइट टू पॉइंट्स फाइव सिक्स इंप्लीकेशनिकॉमिकॉलॉजी डिस्कस Now, what are the environmental implications of the first? Look, question again. Definition. Me, what is? What it means by economic geology? Why? Question is asking you for environmental impact of economic economic geology, right? So first, in introduction, define economic geology. What is economic geology? Is a applied branch of geomorphology that deals with the ex identification, exploration, and utilization of economic resources on the Earth's surface. Yes, right. Like mining, hai, yeah, explorations, hai. Uh, then you will find some biotic resources as well there. So all these forms actually forms a part of economic geology. Now then, what you have to write environmental impact. It is not asking you for ecological impact. Or sorry, uh, e economical impact, not political impact, not cultural impact, nothing else. It is asking you for environmental impact. So your answer should have environmental dictionary or terms. Are. So, see, it lead to topographical changes, keeping isostatic imbalance that way, removal of load, burden on the earth surface. So, what will happen? 
impact on environmental and ecological balance then you will find disaster like landslides over there maybe like then pollution due to mining and related activities maybe then migration that is it lead to impact on carrying capacity of the region then changing man environment relationship is this are all environmental impact played by ecologic economic geology and now as question is asking you for impacts what you have to you have to write in conclusion and how to minimize this adverse impacts on environment like of economic geology then aapko conclusion mein ye karna hai and then like regulation national mineral policy okay mining policy as you can absolutely connect it and then you can end this particular question i hope देखो क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इट सीम्स एब्सोल्युटली डिलेबल गाइस राइट हां कोई एक क्वेश्चन होगा दैट इट मे बी लाइक ऑफ सम ऑड ग्राउंड बट एब्सोल्युटली यू विल फाइंड यू कैन कनेक्ट इट विद द योर अप्लाइड नॉलेज ओके और व्हाटएवर नॉलेज यू हैव गेन इन द प्रोसेस एज ओके टू डिलीवर क्वेश्चंस नेक्स्ट नाउ अब यू मस्ट बी नोइंग फॉर क्वेश्चन 2 क्वेश्चन 3 एंड क्वेश्चन 4 लाइक दिस क्वेश्चंस आर व्हाट लाइक से हैविंग सम ऑप्शन दैट यू आर हैविंग बट इसमें तीन हर किसी क्वेश्चन में तीन सब सेक्शन है ए बी सी एवरी फर्स्ट ए इज फिफ्टीन टेन सॉरी ट्वेंटी मार्कर एंड बी एंड सी फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन मार्कर सो दैट होल मेक्स फिफ्टी मार्क्स एन सो एवरी क्वेश्चन फिफ्टी मार्क्स राइट तो अब इसमें बेसिकली हम सेक्शन देखेंगे क्वेश्चन टू लाइक इविडेंसेस ऑफ पालो मैग्नेटिज्म एंड सी फ्लोर स्प्रेडिंग वैलिडेट दैट कॉन्टिनेंट एंड ओशन आर नेवर स्टेशनरी आर never stationary you have to validate this fact and how paleomagnetism and sea floor spreading comes to that rescue right then elucidate with the suitable diagram 20 marks okay so ab isme karna kya hai introduction introduction at the first what you have you have to mention there like what like The, you can start it with the explanation of the two palo magnetism and sea floor spreading, or else you can like explaining the back stages of continental drift areas, right? Okay, like Alfred Wigner in 1912 proposed his continental drift theory, which which mentions about right the facts of drifting of the continents, like Pangaea Panthalsa broken into this way and that way, right? Pangaea Panthalsa into Laurasia Gondwana and then that movement. यहां से भी स्टार्ट कर सकते हो हाउ एयर दैट प्रपोजिशन वॉज सम हाउ मेड लाइक क्रिटिसाइज और इर रिलीवेंट ऑन द ग्राउंड इट वॉज फेल टू सपोर्ट इनफ एविडेंस इज एंड पैलो मैग्नेटिज्म एंड सी फ्लोर स्प्रेडिंग लेटर इन द केस हैज लेड टू द वैलिडेशन ऑफ द कंसेप्ट हाउ first what is paleomagnetism then what is sea floor spreading partly right not in much detail and then what you need to explain how this two validate drifting then what kind of evidences they had submitted it and how it made this thing right that is some how substantiate ye jo continents hai wo drift kar raha you have to write this thing only and in the end what diagram dekho wahan pe critically mention hai you there you need to explain it by means of diagram you have to draw respective diagrams there jahan bhi kar sakte ho As many two to three diagrams, twenty marker है तो वहाँ पे आपको draw करनी है, okay? And in the end conclusion, what does the validation give provided by paleomagnetism and sea floor spreading to the concept of drifting of continent lead to the foundational idea for the next landmark theory that is plate tectonic theory. Conclusion, ऐसे ही conclude करोगे? In this particular two way. Next, I hope ये question आपको clear है pretty much right. And if you are having doubt, you can uh, comment in the comment box as well. Then question second B, explain the characteristics and weather conditions associated with the anti-cyclone, giving suitable examples. क्लास में ये सब कुछ चीजें कर रखी है हमने, okay? क्लास में ये सब कुछ टॉपिक कवर किए, because being a point of syllabus as well. So Question is asking for say the weather conditions associated with the anticyclone. Anticyclone. Now, what is anticyclone? The in introduction you need to start with the definition itself. कोई और introduction यहाँ appropriate नहीं होगा. 
first define what is anticyclone. Anticyclone is simply high pressure center, it is an atmospheric disturbance with high pressure center surrounded by low pressure system with outward blowing winds. It rotates, then in main body, main body mein kya aega? characteristics of yeah? characteristics, characteristics of anticyclone, high pressure center, low pressure periphery, remained after usually the development of cyclone system, it is as well known as secondary system as well, okay, then you will find the movement of wind is comparatively slower, okay, based on the gradient or barometric slope and air circulation, then the uh, uh, it rotates clockwise in northern hemisphere, it rotates anti-clockwise anti in southern hemisphere where the cyclone track or uh, common occurrences of this anticyclone is in the tropical 30 to 40 degree, 50 degree north and south oceanic regions you will find mainly, right? Continents will be over, but both. Then what in then you need to explain about say weather conditions associated with because it is asking you for like weather conditions associated with giving suitable examples then write about weather condition, temperature changes that it would lead to, rainfall or precipitation condition that it would lead to. This anticyclones are rather fair weather phenomena. They are fair weather in a sense, they won't lead to much changes, okay, in the overall weather conditions. And that's why they are fair weather phenomena. However, if anticyclone remain persistent over a region for a long time, Right? Agar ye ek location pe zyada time ruk jata hai. In that case, you will find it then would lead to pollution. Okay. It then lead to smog and like say some precipitation and river and connected impact. Otherwise, it is not having the as uh, significant impact on the overall uh, weather and climate conditions. So, क्वेश्चन ऑन एंटीसाइक्लोन आई होप ये स्ट्रक्चर है जो आपको हेल्प करेगा हाउ टू देखो क्वेश्चन बेसिकली इसके पॉइंट्स ऑफ मैंने मतलब तो मैं आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्रोवाइडेड यू दोस पॉइंट राइट बट यू कैन इवन राइट राइट दोस पॉइंट व्हाट आई फील यहां पे सबसे ज्यादा क्वेश्चन को अप्रोच कैसे करना है क्वेश्चन स्ट्रक्चर कैसे करना है दैट इज व्हाट आवर प्राइमरी ड्यूटी एज ओके एंड आई होप दोज ऑल क्वेश्चन दोज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड टिल नाउ आपको इस क्वेश्चन को अप्रोच कैसे करना है you must have realized by this time. Then, C, question C, 2, C, how are ocean currents generated? C, again, introduction, yehi se ho gaya, first demand of the question. And discuss their effect on climates with special reference to the Pacific Ocean. It means, yaha pe climate and currents in the Pacific Ocean, question second is asking for, means demand second is asking for. So, in introduction, kya karoge? It is as simple, like definition of ocean current. Ocean currents are continuous, predictable and large scale movement of oceanic water in well-defined direction. Ocean currents are like river flow in the ocean. And ocean current, it forms so significant part of the overall oceanic circulation. Yes, introduction ho gaya. You can write there like or draw their diagrams as well if you want about ocean current this way. And then what causes main body mein aega demand of the question because question ye nahi pooch ocean current kya Question pooch raha how they are generated. So what causes like say like there are two factors as you will find primary forces and secondary forces. Those are responsible for ocean current. That is those are given in NCRTs as well guys, right? So Pahla wala case you can connect it with the ocean currents can be caused by wind. Write and explain the diagram. Right? Ekman current you will find there. Jabbi oceanic water say wind move kar rahe, accordingly it lead to movement of ocean current. Then density difference, density gradient hai, then temperature and salinity variation hai, gravity and all those. So wherever possible add respective diagrams there and on uh, uh, you know examples as well in connection with Right, so pehla wala point ho gaya. So wind, density difference, gravity, temperature, okay, and then Coriolis force as well responsible for. Next, generated second wala part hai impact on climate, and that is with special reference to Pacific Ocean. It means ki aapko Pacific Ocean current ka map draw karna. Hai. There is no no escape. 
you have to draw passive equation and almost 80% to 90% of your explanation should be in connection with the passive equation right ha other bhi de sakte ho but more focus or emphasis should be on passive equation so the impact on climate you must be like it lead to changes in temperature condition right लाइक कोल्ड करंट है तो कोल्ड वेव रहेगी या कोल्ड टेम्परेचर है हाई हॉट करंट है तो वार्म करंट है तो अकॉर्डिंगली इट लीड टू प्रेसिपिटेशन चेंजेस इन ह्यूमिडिटी देन यू विल फाइंड द टाइप्स ऑफ क्लाइमेट अल्टीमेटली दैट इट लीड टू फॉर एग्जांपल कोल्ड करंट अगर है वहां पे देखोगे आप डेजर्ट भी है सोनूरान डेजर्ट राइट ए मोजावे डेजर्ट इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड इज एटाकामा right sorry not and this atacama desert but again in connection with the peru cold current yeah so you have to write like these are what the kind of impact impact on temperature impact on precipitation impact on wind movements ye ye sab climate ke hi part hai theek hai wind movement air mass movement as well that is influenced by ocean currents and connected with the pacific ocean you will find in fact or somehow this current are as well responsible for atmospheric disturbances like typhoons in okay or they are having significant role in development of typhoons okay in the south china sea japan sea east china sea yes you get focus on our pacific ocean pe zyada rakhna hai then done with this and then at the end conclusion thus ocean currents are Uh, having so significant role in overall world or global climate and so in the pacific ocean as well or ocean currents are not having impact only in the pacific ocean but in uh, in the rest of the part of the earth surface as well okay yeah? yeah? then third question now so second question a b c done third a what are the causes of origin of local wind discuss the significance on prevailing weather and climate in various region with suitable examples now the question is again 15 mark, sorry 20 marker question and question is what asking you for not local winds so the causes of local winds so ab dekho introduction yahi pe clear ho gaya introduction that is better right just to start with the local winds so what are local winds local winds are simply these temporary and uh, uh, localized movements of wind okay in particular direction that is having their in, in influence or uh, say impact mainly on the particular region they are region specific they are time specific as well example loo example fawn example mistral example chinook right you need to mention as many example there and then you need to write causes तो कॉजेस में फिर क्या करोगे लाइक देर आर फोर डिफरेंट वेज है कि जहां से ये ओरिजिन हो सकता है राइट सो अन इक्वल हीटिंग ऑफ लैंड एंड सी रिजल्टिंग इनटू द लैंड एंड सी ब्रिजेस तो लैंड ब्रिजेस सी ब्रिजेस देन हीटिंग एंड कूलिंग ऑफ द माउंटेन स्लोप लोकल विंड्स ओरिजिनेटिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एयर करंट क्रॉसिंग माउंटेन ओके एडियाबैटिक कूलिंग एंड देन एग्जांपल है इसका चिनुक एंड मे बी लाइक द कन्वेक्शनल लोकल विंड्स कॉज्ड बाय स्टीप प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट and steep variation in local temperature example loo in north india yeah these are all ek ek example lene ek ek example draw karna hai and you need to draw this diagram as well because your geographical answer would remain incomplete agar usme diagram add nahi hogi to fine so yes dekho what causes causes ke liye kya karna hai jo aapko means pata hai it may be a case you you are not aware about all of them right but at least jo pata hai usko proper explain karo us pe respective example do ya example ke sath explain karo like like chinu is originated due to the strong like movement of uh, uh, air currents over on the mountain slope that lead to adiabatic cooling and adiabatic uh, say uh, uh, precipitation and ultimately say the movement of chinu right ab fir question second part puch raha hai Okay, the discuss the significance on prevailing weather and climate various regions. Over there, what you have to you have to mention now the the significance. What are the significance of that each of this having some kind of significance? So, like Chino, that is known as snow eater. Like fawn, right? You will find that drinks a cold wave condition in the 
uh, what northern europe or maybe middle europe as well right lu that lead to heat waves in the uh, uh, north india in the summer months okay or maybe like uh, say sirocco like known as sirocco solano known as doctor wind so you will find ki each of this way having some role to play as in okay you can see try karna ki jitne zyada examples aap isme local wind ke add kar sakte ho do it कुछ एग्जाम्पल डेफिनेशन में ऐड करो कुछ एग्जाम्पल्स पॉजेस में ऐड करो एक्सप्लेनेशन और मेनी एग्जाम्पल्स सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लोकल ओके यू नीड टू मेंशन हाउ इम्पैक्ट ऑन वेदर हाउ द इम्पैक्ट ऑन क्लाइमेट हाउ द इम्पैक्ट ऑन इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट हाउ द इम्पैक्ट ऑन ट्रेड हाउ द इम्पैक्ट ऑन एग्रीकल्चर हाउ द इम्पैक्ट ऑन कल्चर ऑफ द रीजन डन Yeah, or migration, politics, or बहुत सारी चीजें. You the way you can connect to it, you will find is easy to find. Okay, so that way. Then somehow, पहला वाला क्वेश्चन था क्लाइमेटोलॉजी. This question is basically geomorphology. And uh, I feel uh, moderate to difficult level है uh, for this question. But yeah, that is absolutely mentioned in the syllabus itself. That define penny planes. and describe the landscape features associated with the penny planes under different geomorphic cycles under different geomorphic cycles so like introduction first kya hoga question hi bata raha hai ki introduce mujhe isse karna hai penny plane what are the penny plane penny planes are low featureless plane that are the results of process of erosional cycle or and like simply those are the result of time frame after which an uplifted landmass ends into a low sculptureless and featureless plain known as penny plain the concept of penny plain as such introduced in geomorphology and geography by w m davis william morris davis and that was in a cycle of erosion okay general cycle of erosion in 1890 Nine. He was American geomorphologist, known as the father of modern geomorphology as well. So, a third question is being asked. It describes diagram must be there. Yeah, you need to, and then the landscape features associated with the penny planes under different geomorphic cycles. Then, what do you have to? Many land features that you then need to like in different geomorphic cycle. Maybe in arid cycle of erosion. Maybe in uh, uh, what glacial cycle of erosion. Maybe in any other type of erosion. Right? You will find there are different products. Those were imagined. Right? By different proponents. Let's say Pengs. Se puchho ke to Pengs kahega. Wahan pe hai Andromph. Agar basically L C King ka dekho ke, you will find L C King hai Paddy Plain. Then क्रिक में से पूछोगे तो क्रिक में लाइक विद पैन प्लेन सो व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज देन आस्किंग यू टू इलाबोरेट अपॉन दिस फर्दर राइट अब अगर ये पता है तो इसका आंसर होगा अदरवाइज ये क्वेश्चन इसीलिए मैंने कहा कि मॉडरेट टू डिफिकल्ट लेवल पे जाता है द रीजन बीइंग कि अगर आपको फिर ये चीज अगर नहीं पता होगी पेनी प्लेन आई गेस की पता भी होगा क्योंकि बेसिक्स है इट बट मे बी लाइक एंड राउंड भी आप लिख दोगे पेंक वाला साइकिल आपने प्रिपेयर किया होगा बट For the rest, it seems somehow difficult, right? So slope slope development model may be a kind of thing connected. Then conclusion connected with the conclusion. Okay, so like fair conclusion is absolutely a general conclusion as well. Then see what are the factors affecting regional ecological changes? How does this affect human health? Factors responsible for regional ecological changes and How do they uh, do this affects human health? Two question है, fifteen mark है, seven and a half, seven and a half. You can consider as define. Sorry, introduction. What start better? Not here with the definition. अब ये मत define करना regional ecological changes क्या होता है? देखो, ये तो बहुत ही basic चीज़. So no. Now rather it's good to start with the quote of any particular geographical scholar there, या maybe any scientist. right maybe any other way like say uh, dr m s swaminathan right so he was like ecological conservationist unke bhi bahut sare statements hai you will find about ecology its conservation and that way. you can have those statements over there right or maybe any other ecological scientist okay or scholar having his opinion or ideas about this changes right i would like basically main kisi scholar se start kar dunga ya 
IPCC reports is Dr. Dukha, that or IUCN reports say that it leads to loss of extinction of this many species. You can connect it with this. And then main body now address all those points. Okay. Which are those like which are those factors? Natural factor could be there, anthropogenic factors just could be there. So natural factors kya ho sakta hai? ecological changes, right? Tectonic factors ho sakta hai? volcano, earthquake, ecology pe change kar rahe. Then you will find isostatic, right? Geographical knowledge aapka dikhna chahiye yahan pe. Then resource balance and disaster rate. And what about anthropogenic? Land use changes, deforestation, industrialization, exotic species and biotic interferences. All these are what they the factors responsible for. You may note down further few as well. Ki kisi bhi region mein ecology ya environment mein change kyu aa sakta hai. Right? So land use changes se bhi aa raha hai. Jo man kar raha hai ya deforestation, industrialization, exotic species ka intrusion hai ya biotic interferences. So these are all those reasons responsible for. And at the next part, how it impacts on human health. It impacts on human health in terms of pollution, in air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution, declining air, cap, uh, air uh, sorry, carry capacity. It impacts on food security, immunity power, and then diseases, okay, vulnerability. You can connect it with the, this one, like global warming, skin diseases, banayega. then raising, rising pollution, diseases, then disability, and infertility as well. You can connect it with the cardiovascular diseases or maybe any other like mental disorder bhi hai, so isi se connect ho sakta hai, regional ecological, noise pollution ho raha hai. So noise pollution se kya hoga? Ultimately, uh, you will find ke kahi na kahi mental imbalance bhi to lead hoga and that is how okay, it affects human health. Then, third question is, now go to this fourth question guys, see, kya question pooch raha hai? The most uh, easy question, right, or uh, basically oceanographic question hai, and I would rather define it in easy category, not even moderate as well, because question is that class we have already covered kar bhi liya tha, right, uh, and then you will find even that is given in NCRTs and even standard reference book. What are the marine eco, oh, sorry, marine resources and their economic significance? How has marine pollution affected such resources? 20 marks, they are, you know, they are like, uh, like freely given questions as, or 20 marks as, okay? Easy question hai. first, aapko introduction mein kya karna hai? Define marine resources, yeah. Marine resources are any biotic or abiotic life having potential to be used by human being or having some purpose, use for, utility. So, like, this resources just could be biotic resources, abiotic resources. They, they are further being divided into dry chart. Wahan pe chart draw kar sakte ho. Biotic ka plant resources, animal resources, abiotic ka mineral resources, uh, uh, then mineral resources, then fossil based resources, and then intangible resources as well. And then write respective examples. Okay. So resources, oceanic resources, biotic, abiotic. Then, biotic marine flora, marine fauna, and abiotic energy, then uh, energy are the minerals, and intangible resources, right? You can absolutely write those ways there. So, examples respective, because 20 marker question, hai, you need to. So then unka economic significance ke how oceanic resources are having economic significance. In a sense, you write about the eco, uh, their con economic contribution in terms of food production, in terms of agriculture, in terms of fishing, in terms of tourism, in terms of employment generation, in terms of uh, say overall trade, maritime trade, 90% of maritime trade is by the world uh, maritime route, right? So ocean offers you lots of right economic case and the whole that is in terms of blue economy. Blue economy. Yeah. Economic resources. So it's good to add this blue economy.
blue economy there. Then how has marine pollution affected such pollution, right, this also. Now don't directly jump onto the pollution wall aspect. Pele, like explain karo ki yes, there is like excessive pollution. Like for example, according to the IMF report, according to World Economic Forum, say the pre if the present rate of plastic pollution would continue, it would lead to say 50%, right, or, or it would lead to mass of plastic in ocean more than that of fishes in the ocean. Yeah, because the intensity of the pollution, absolutely that is reflecting upon. So, the thing is, you have to add or connect this to end. Because ye, ye demand or ye demand, do alag hai, right? Don't directly switch like from first demand to second demand. Have some connecting line, linking statement between. Pehle prove bhi karo ki there is a pollution and this pollution then is having kind of influence on. And I hope ye vaise bhi aapke paas bahut sara generative points ho sakte hai iske. Then you can connect it, how it affected. You will find it impacts on quantity, quality, availability, affordability, accessibility, supply, okay. And uh, overall nature of marine resources. Yes, you will find how it affected lead to affects on every coin. Ocean acidification connect kar do, pollution connect kar do, then migration of species, climatic refugees there, then impact on culture, then impact on like overall economic activities, then affordability of the oceanic resources, the disaster in increase and all those. Yes, you can absolutely connect it with the current affairs. Next question, fourth B. Differentiate 15 marks there. Differentiate between the characteristics of organic horizons and mineral horizons in a generalized soil profile. So, question simply puts like a difference. Tell me the difference span between organic horizons and mineralized horizons. Ab yahan pe, ab usme directly organic and inorganic horizon, I feel that is inappropriate to start with. It is better in introduction. First, define like soil profile and organic and inorganic horizon, right? So, organic horizon simply, ye wo hai jahan pe organic matter ka enrichment hai. So, mainly you must be aware about ki soil mein layers hote hai. O, A, B, E, C, D, C and R. Yeah? So, O layer is organic and A and B, they are like mineralized layer. What do you have to in comparative chart, right, in terms of comparative chart, then in the main body, pehle define kar diya apne, right, define kar diya, then in the main body, now approach the main demand of the question, that is, differentiate between, so what factor you can consider for differentiation, there should be some criteria, depth, where it occurs, types of minerals you will find there, the processes, those are prevalent, color, texture, okay, and the nature as, you will find, all these are productivity as well, right, so all this point based on you can differentiate, right? Now I will not to explain you here, I will not teach you here what exactly organic and mineral. But yes, this is what the kind of broad aspect. Depth is organic horizon, ki shallow depth is mineral is more. Color basically deep black is this, comparatively black. A texture is what will remain. You will find sandy to loamy and maybe like let's say boulder structures and minerals. Mein, the finer and finer structure you will find. Nutrients. This is what partly nutrient contained. However, the process of leaching and the process of illuviation, right? It leads to enrichment of this horizon in terms of minerals. Then leaching productivity. This right? mineral horizon is actually giving you more productivity in terms of or in comparison with the organic horizons. Then, I hope, guys, you guys are getting right. Say the how to approach those questions. Okay. I believe UPSC में content आपके पास जो है, right? उससे ज़्यादा better way आप उसको present कैसे कर रहे हो जो भी content you are having, because you see world में knowledge unlimited है, ठीक? And you cannot have access to even, right? Not even have all those knowledge in your mind, even access to all that forms of knowledge. So the thing is, you are, you know, you have to accept this limitation. और knowledge अगर है, basic minimum knowledge जो चाहिए, वो होना चाहिए, उसके बाद skill है, आप how you are going to present, how you are going to structure your ideas on paper. Then, 4C, the last of the section A, how in, does inversion of temperature occur? ठीक है, 
अगेन इंट्रोडक्शन बता दिया उसको उसने आपको एक्सप्लेन इट सिग्निफिकेंस ऑन लोकल वेदर सुटेबल विथ सुटेबल एग्जाम्पल्स तो क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू फॉर फर्स्ट हाउ डज इनवर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर अकर्स तो क्वेश्चन इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट Start with the inversion of temperature phenomena. What is inversion of temperature phenomena? It is simply the reverse of lapse rate. What is lapse rate? Lapse rate is with increase in height, decrease in temperature, and hence inversion of temperature is exceptional climatic or weather condition where with increase in height or height and temperature are directly related with each other. With increase in height, increase in temperature. Draw a graph there. Add example there. Yes, maybe in like valley inversion. Now, इसको देखो अब ये क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है क्वेश्चन की डिमांड टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन को डिफाइन करना नहीं है क्वेश्चन की डिमांड है हाउ डज इट ऑकर तो इन मेन बॉडी फॉर फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एड्रेस टाइप्स ऑफ इन्वर्जन ऑफ टेम्परेचर जो आपको बताएंगे कि ये कनेक्ट कैसे होगा तो लाइक इन दैट वे यू विल फाइंड के पहले रेडिएशन इन्वर्जन ओके रेडिएशन इन्वर्जन या ड्रेनेज इन्वर्जन देन फ्रंटल इन्वर्जन एक्सप्लेन दिस थ्री टाइप्स राइट and the process of their formation not in like say 100 or 200 words dekho humko pura question hi humko 250 words ya 200 words mein complete karna hai so at least mention those processes of formation how radiation inversion form it just due to the radiation laid by the earth surface mainly in the long waves of light say uh, during the night time inversion of temperature phenomena occurs right Di draw a diagram it due frontal frontal inversion occurs when or the if the formation of inversion of temperature condition during when two different air masses are up getting uplifted interacted warm air mass is getting uplifted cold air mass is lying at the bottom which lead to increase in height increase in temperature Yeah, so you have to by means of types of inversion of temperature. I think I feel that this question or this part address will be addressed. Okay, anyway, it carries seven and a half mark. So you have to give it a weightage too. Okay, and then explain its significance on local weather with suitable examples. Then the significance of local of sorry uh, inversion of temperature on local weather. You will find it stops the movement of air. It will mainly it lead to less rainfall like conditions there. then lower visibility thunderstorms and tornadoes and diurnal variations in temperature tend to be very small and that makes this thing okay that makes this thing a significant for okay in terms of weather of on local sorry inversion of temperature example kashmir valley example alps valley example during uh, low uh, sorry high latitude countries you will find radiation inversion you will find drainage inversion you will find different uh, varieties or say as such types of this inversion process conclusion the inversion of temperature even though exceptional phenomena and highly localized and region specific has lots of changes on the overall regional climate on weather section b section b is of human geography section b is human geography so what is human geography uh, sorry human geography in sense ye wo discuss nahi karenge but simply it is simply the branch of geography that deals with the man and environment that relationship okay how man has led to changes on the earth surface and how in return earth has impacted or is it simultaneously influencing the nature and behavior of man okay to ab isi ke related question there you will find five different units are perspectives in human geography then economic geography then population and settlement then regional planning and model theories and laws right five units are you will find for human geography section b so पहला क्वेश्चन है अगेन वेरी यू नो फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स ऑफ पर्सपेक्टिव्स इन ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी दैट इज अ सेकंड सब यूनिट दैट इज मेंशन इन दिस यूनिट राइट पर्सपेक्टिव इन ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी में सेकंड पॉइंट है एरियल डिफरेंशिएशन पहला रहेगा रीजनल सिंथेसिस एंड देन एरियल डिफरेंशिएशन सो नाउ व्हाट इज एरियल डिफरेंशिएशन क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग फॉर एक्सप्लेन द सीक्वेंशियल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एरियल डिफरेंशिएशन एज फंडामेंटल कांसेप्ट इन ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी या तो सी क्वेश्चन जब पूछ रहा है सीक्वेंशियल डेवलपमेंट फर्स्ट थिंग दैट मस्ट बी कम टू इन योर माइंड यहाँ पे आप फ्लो चार्ट ड्रॉ कर सकते हो है क्योंकि जब हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट सीक्वेंशियल डेवलपमेंट या लाइक हैरानी का डेवलपमेंट है फ्लो चार्ट बन सकता है 
देखो माइंड में क्वेश्चन रीड करते ही उसका स्ट्रक्चर क्या होगा आपके माइंड में आना चाहिए Then, right, then you will find it is very easy to approach this question. क्योंकि तभी आपके तभी ये क्वेश्चन अप्रोचेबल होगा इवेल्युएटर को वो क्वेश्चन यू नो रीडेबल एंड अप्रोचेबल फॉर्मैट में भी लगेगा सो फॉर एरियल डिफ्रेंशियन इट इज सिंपली द कोर ऑफ एरियल डिफ्रेंसिएशन दैट यू नीड टू डिफाइन इन इंट्रोडक्शन इट सेल्फ एरियल डिफ्रेंसिएशन अ ब्रांच ऑफ से ह्यूमन जोग्राफी और जोग्राफिकल स्टडीज दैट डील्स विद द understanding the differences between two aerial or spaces on space on the earth surface and by then by that sense understanding the nature so it believes in unique and particular okay of particularness of any particular space the core theme of aerial differentiation is earth surface is highly unequal everywhere right in no surface on the earth surface is similar or same and this is what the very core of aerial differentiation and as it is very different you will find ki wo hai to fir ab iska historical development kahan se hoga greek civilization starting from yeah to so greek civilization you find strabo you will find ptolemy those are in connection with then romans yeah those were like many of them like those were uh, uh, aerial differentiation or regional geographer then you will find in the modern thoughts in the modern thought paul karl ritter hai you will find that he even right sorry arabs wala bhi kaise al burani hai al masudi al uh, ibn khaldun okay then you will find मॉडर्न थॉट्स है जहां पे कार्ल रिटर भी रहेगा राइट रीजनल जोग्राफर देन इमान्युअल कांट एज वेल बिकॉज ही हैज कंसीडर्ड हिस्ट्री एंड जोग्राफी दिस टू आर एक्सेप्शनल सब्जेक्ट या फादर ऑफ एक्सेप्शनलिज्म इमान्युअल कांट देन देयर यू नीड टू मेंशन दिस नेम ऑफ विडाल डी ब्लाश रेंज जोग्राफर नोन एज फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न ह्यूमन जोग्राफी देर यू विल फाइंड ही टॉक्स अबाउट पेज एंड मिलेव कंसेप्ट Milai that means habitat and Pays it means a small region having uniform settlement on nature. However, Earth's surface is composed of many of such different Pays. So, see next to it, then you will have to mention about quantitative revolution. You get historical de uh, development over during the phase of quantitative revolution. Aerial differentiation was somehow, uh, uh, say somehow, remain in the back seat. okay the very origin the root of quantitative revolution lies in criticism of the aerial differentiation and regional geography and then after the the uh, uh, you know the decline of quantitative revolution 70s and 80s revival of aerial differentiation started this term was coined by richard hartshorn in his book the nature of geography 1939 इन पर्सपेक्टिव इन जोग्राफी ठीक है तो इतने सब कुछ नाम इतना सब कुछ फ्लो चार्ट इतने सब कुछ चीजें आने चाहिए तब आप देखोगे कि दिस आंसर सीम्स रेदर लाइक काइंड ऑफ परफेक्ट ठीक है परफेक्ट देन देन स्टिल यू विल फाइंड सम इंप्रूवमेंट दिस इज हाउ यू आर सपोज टू अप्रोच टू दिस पर्टिकुलर देन फाइव बी डिस्कस क्रिटिकली food and nutritional problems associated with the developing countries okay our world it is not about developed world it is about developing countries or developing world so see what what you have to or how you are supposed to add, uh, approach this question discuss critically food and nutrition problems so food and nutrition problem in a sense connect i would like यहाँ पे आप इसको पॉसिबिलिज्म से कनेक्ट कर सकते हो यहाँ पे आप इसको न्यू डिटर्मिनिज्म से कनेक्ट कर सकते हो राइट और दैट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम और यहाँ पे मालथुसियन मॉडल्स को कनेक्ट कर सकते हो मालथस या पॉपुलेशन बॉम्ब थ्योरी या लिमिट्स टू ग्रोथ मॉडल एनी वे यू कैन कनेक्ट इट विद दिस थिंग ठीक है सो देन स्टार्ट विद द डेटा यहाँ पे बेस्ट वे ही है डोंट डिफाइन फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन प्रॉब्लम मतलब इसको क्या डिफाइन करोगे द थिंग इज इट इज बेटर टू स्टार्ट विद दी डेटा दैट इज गिवन बाई एफ ए ओ मे बी बाई यूनाइटेड नेशन मे बी बाई एनी इंडियन एजेंसी मे बी फॉर एफ्रीका एज वेल स्टार्ट विद दी वेरी डेफिनेशन ऑफ सॉरी सी द डेटा फैक्ट ऑफ दिस केस देन द रीजन फॉर दिस फूड एंड न्यूट्रिशन प्रॉब्लम यू विल फाइंड नेचुरल रीजन है और मैन मेड है नेचुरल में क्या आएंगे नेचुरल में जैसे कि चेंजिंग से सॉइल प्रोडक्टिविटी 
या सॉइल इरोजन है नेचुरल वेज भी हो सकता है देन क्लाइमेट है चेंजिंग क्लाइमेट क्लाइमेट चेंज एक्टिविटीज है देन मे बी डिजास्टर्स है दैट लीड टू क्रॉप डिसीजेस है नेचुरली क्रॉप डिसीजेस है दोज आर ऑल रिस्पॉन्सिबल और मैन मेड में क्या है मे बी इम्पैक्ट ऑन नेचुरल एसेसिबिलिटी एफोर्डेबिलिटी ब्लैक मार्केटिंग ओके सप्लाई चेन हर्डल्स है या वेस्टेज है फूड वेस्टेज तो इस सभी से क्या होगा एंड साइमल्टेनियसली प्रोक्रियरमेंट कैपेसिटी सो इट ऑल मेक्स दिस थिंग राइट कीपिंग ऑल डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज एग्जाम्पल अफ्रीका के इंडिया है बांग्लादेश है पाकिस्तान है देर यू नीड टू मैं क्योंकि डेवलप्ड वर्ल्ड के एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे पुट नहीं करने क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा है डेवलपिंग वर्ल्ड में बताओ Yes, so there and then types of problems there: affordability, accessibility, and timely supply of this food. And at the end, conclusion with way forward. How this problem of food nutrition in developing countries just could be mitigated? Then, human migration is reflection of the balance between push. फैक्टर्स इलेबोरेट विद स्पेशल रेफरेंस टू दी मोस्ट रिसेंट डायसोरा मतलब क्वेश्चन ही बोल रहा है कि मोस्ट रिसेंट डायसोरा देखो मोस्ट रिसेंट इन देंस यूजली आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड एंड आफ्टर वर्ड्स राइट एंड अगर इंडिया के डायसोरा से कनेक्ट कर लोगे तो दैट इज यू नो चेरी ऑन टिप so the thing is what do you have to you have to first dekho least ka principle of migration and according to when uh, according to that particular principle the decision of, uh, taken by potential migrant is based on the intensity or the kind of balance between push and pull factor ab push factor kya hota hai ki jo kisi bhi individual ko away from its native location push karta hai like लाइक लो एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्टिविटी इनकम एम्प्लॉयमेंट पुअर स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग एडुकेशन हेल्थ डिजास्टर जीनोसाइड पॉलिटिकल इनस्टेबिलिटी वॉट एवर ये हो गए पुश फैक्टर और पुल फैक्टर्स आर दो आर सिंपली अट्रैक्टिंग दो पॉपुलर्स राइट टूवर्ड्स दैट रीजन तो इट मे बी गुड स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग लाइक इन यू एस लाइक इन यूरोप लाइक मे बी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटीज टैलेंट रिकग्निशन एनवायरमेंटल कंडीशन गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ एयर एडुकेशन हेल्थ एंड ऑल दो थिंग You will find ये incentives कुछ भी तो ये भी pull factors है तो what this migration migration is about balance between this push and pull factor so how you need to write only this way and then connect it with the main body in there and then in the conclusion thus understanding the concept of migration based on push and pull factor it will help us to frame policies accordingly or to manage our demography accordingly yes. right it will help a geographer for regional planning as well yes okay so this way then d as malthusian theory discredited been discredited in contemporary times justify your answer justify your answer <laughs> up there you you are not supposed to explain malthus what many guys would rather do fir baki log kya karoge aap malthus theory explain karoge no question puch raha hai wo discredit hui hai ya nahi hui hai justify your answer you have to take a stand you have to take a call initially as well. initially right see malthus theory which uh, like uh, with the recent evidences or recent occurrences in the current time like covid 19 like the uh, food scarcity or famines those are prevalent in africa it validated the fact of uh, uh, robert thomas malthus about say the uh, uh, impact of excess growth of population if remain unchecked would absorb all economic gain and lead to disaster that is malthusian catastrophe so justify your answer then ke yes malthus ne fir kuch concept di thi like food arithmetic mean se grow hota hai population logarithmic mean se grow hota hai in order to control this thing there should be positive check there should be a preventive checks as well and malthusian catastrophe that is what the case then you need to validate this fact if you are in support of if you are in oppose of and then in the conclusion thus explain the other side as well do your opinion is about this thing ki yes malthusian very credited hai ya discredited hai but the thing is you have to mention you have to mention the other side as well that ki mujhe ye bhi pata hai ki ye credited nahi bhi hai ya 
ये सपोर्ट करना भी है या नहीं भी करना यू शुड नो द क्रिटिसिजम और फेवरेबल पॉइंट इवन फॉर दिस वेरी ओके तो दिस वे आई एम नॉट सपोज टू एक्सप्लेन दिस वेरी क्योंकि आपको पता है कि डिस्कशन में हम इतना पूरा ले नहीं पाएंगे देन फाइव ई बट क्लास में हमने ये सब कुछ चीजें कर ली है ठीक है सो दैट वे देन डिस्कस द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ पोलराइजेशन इंड्यूस स्पेशल इन इक्वालिटीज एंड इम्बैलेंसेज एसोसिएटेड विद ग्रोथ पोल अब देखो यहां पर है इंट्रोडक्शन इट पहले ग्रोथ पोल क्या है और स्पेशल इन इक्वालिटीज क्या है ये एक्सप्लेन करना होगा तो इंट्रोडक्शन आपको वे खुद ही दे रहा है मेन बॉडी में आप अप्रोच करोगे टाइप्स ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी स्पेशल इनइक्वालिटीज इट टॉक्स अबाउट नॉट लाइक नॉन स्पेशल इन नेचर स्पेशल एंड देन लाइक कंक्लूजन सो लाइक ग्रोथ पोल इट इज सिंपली ए स्पेशल लोकेशन वेयर और व्हिच इज हैविंग कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ डिफरेंट फंक्शनल एक्टिविटीज दिस थ्योरी ग्रोथ पोल थ्योरी वाज गिवन बाय पेरॉक्स एंड कंट्रीब्यूटेड लेटर बाय बॉडविले Europeans both right after or in the 1950s 52 and 55 you will find somewhere around that was uh, as such proposed and then this growth pool theory it gives rise to many special inequalities as in like the difference in their economic de development north eastern states and uh, like um, delhi region or it lead to differences in the development of topographical changes like what you will find in himalayan region and what you will find in say the developmental prospect in mumbai region or maybe any other region or it lead, lead to impact on spatial inequalities impact on culture as well yeah so developmental prospect in europe and developmental prospect in south asia or africa yes ye bhi ek uh, uh, you will find cultural impact hai. then you will find it as well lead to impact on spatial inequalities in terms of gender gender men and women right ke in the region of africa or in the region of konkan maharashtra that or that western coastal region you will find due to migration of people you will find the women more it tends to like having a feminization of agriculture they are having more no other option than agriculture so they you know engage in agriculture itself so feminization of agriculture you need to connect it with the then developmental cultural resource based environmental economic and political disparity that it lead to and in the conclusion how to minimize this disparity ab dekho problem aapka batana sirf administrator ka role ye nahi hai jab aap service mein jaoge aap dekhoge ki aapko problems to duniya matlab har koi bata raha hai aapko aapke paas chahiye solution and what say as you have mentioned this solution you need to provide solution as well right so solution how to minimize this inequality by means of equitable growth by means of having say a, a development or identification of resource potential of every region one district one product like program okay you can connect with or maybe implementation of sdg in true spirits you'll find are somehow the means for okay so this diagram must be there then question 6 explain the problems and prospects of urban expansion in the context of urban fringe develop developing so what is question is asking for question is asking for say the problems and prospects of urban expansion in the context of urban fringe ab dekho yahan pe fir se ab do way ho sakta hai aapke paas the way you find it suitable what you can define urban fringe or you can in other way define or add some facts or data about it. how say expansion of urban cities or region it is leading to a consequential problem you can add un habitat report there you may add world bank report on urbanization there or like quote any other report as well so fir definition mein urban fringe define kar sakte ho that is a region that is a area which is having urban and rural modes of life that is neither truly urban neither truly rural it is where from where say people commutes on daily basis to the urban center and then feel like this is what their own region right it is having say changing land pattern use increase in land rents as well say it is mainly characterized by dumping grounds airports sports grounds or those way right you must be aware about so air fringe hai diagram must be there wahan pe well labeled diagram it needed then explain the problems in connection with the the question puts that urban expansion to the problem that it then lead to the land scarcity incremental land prices 
then you will find impact on or changing topography, then urban heat island effect, then microclimate development that is polluted climate, hai. then you will find ke or problems hai, like uh, slum development, hai, resource scarcity, hai, excess burden on administration, hai, disaster vulnerability of the cities. These problems are. Then prospects, kya hai? it offers you or this urban fringe are actually neutralizer. They are like reliever of the main urban center from the excess population inflow. It as well help you to control the land prices over in the urban region. Yeah, it prevents or helpful for the governance activities as well. It again helps you like to have some peaceful environment, okay, where the peaceful life in the, sorry, uh, the low peace in the life just could be, in the city, just could be, you know, counteracted. So, urban fringe or its problems bhi hai, prospects bhi hai, the way you read it the way you interpret it right and then conclusion conclusion in the sense how to minimize problems further and how to make those prospects in reality yeah so isko fir connect karna hai and at the end way forward to find that is the best uh, uh, structure for this kind of question ye diagrams aap add kar sakte ho and if you have any respect to case of your own city you can add there as well okay next 6b what is the relation between gender equity and human development perspective in human geography is unit se question hai. it's on hdi jo you separate unit, human development index was what he said how gender equity leads to human development and First part, provide a list of commonly used gender related indices, 15 marks. So, usually 7 and 7 and a half marks you will find that is allotted for. And in introduction, what? Define gender equity and how? Or it would be better if you have a report. It would be better if you have a report code. So, that would be better. Still, gender equity, like it is what? Say, where there is no discrimination among or between genders so like main women and even transgender you need to add this element as well okay. so main women and transgender are considered equal and and there like say the r offers a good enough prospect for human development how gender equity leads to gender equity leads to human development because it helps you Say to right to improve participation of all genders in decision making. It helps pull for say improved health and skilling. It helpful for involving decision making of like women reservation bill se connect kar do isko. Yeah, women reservation jo ad ban gaya ab, right. You can connect it with how this gender making will help you gender based budgeting as well gender budgeting how uh, it helps you to promote okay or to reduce spatial gender inequality and ultimately human development that is enlargement of choices keeping example you can connect with then List of indices, factual question, factual part. Hai. Absolutely, you can mention as many those ex examples like gender inequality index, gender development index, gender global gap index. Okay, now you all know all of these. Maybe gender parity index, women peace and security, gender inequality, in sorry, equality index, MMR, IMR, women labor force participation, and men. Okay, so these are all those indices that you are. Uh, are being asked to just list it there. 6C. It's about like explain resources, population, resources, and development nexus in the limit to growth model. Why has this model been criticized intensively? 15 mark question is like demanding you for. पहले तो बताना है आपको population, resource use and development इनके बीच का nexus क्या है, मतलब interconnection क्या है and second, why or what are the criticisms of this model 
limits to growth model which was proposed in way back in 1972 by the uh, scholars of Massachusetts Institutes of Technology Meadows and his group like Forster so those who proposed based on and the deterministic approach and kind of considered as extension of neo malthusian or simply there this theory is as well like neo malthusian theory as well where it considered that say due to excess exploitation laid by human resources over population it leads to a fall of like say all the overall collapse of the earth surface so yahan pe kuch computer based modeling thi projections the keeping all those resources used as in contact five different criteria have been considered like population like industrial use then industrial produce then agriculture produce okay food uh, security pollution and the development as well okay then food per capita industry and resources yeah five are considered yahan pucha hai in teen ke beech mein matlab overall five ke beech mein interrelation kya hai okay the kind of interrelationship between all this element population resources agriculture per unit area production industrial per use and resources there okay so you need to measure their relation just in connection with the limits to growth model and in the second part of the question what are the criticisms of the theory yeah what are the criticisms of the theory so right criticisms ke ye theory hai neo मालतूसियन इन नेचर विच बिलीव इन के पॉपुलेशन बहुत बढ़ जाएगी और सब कुछ कोलैप्स हो जाएगा जबकि स्टिल वी आर इन नाउ ट्वेंटी थर्टीज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटीज एंड द थिंग इज वी आर स्टिल हैविंग रिसोर्सेज दैट वुड लास्ट फॉर फर्दर फ्यू इयर्स एंड इट टेंस टू इग्नोर इट इज सो पेसिमिस्टिक इन नेचर इट जस्ट टेंस टू इग्नोर ऑप्टिमिज्म राइट कि वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू फेस ए कैटोस्ट्रोफी एंड इफ यू फेल टू यू नो connect those or manage those problems we would be in danger so it fail to recognize ki resources are not they are created right zelensky he was the uh, uh, president of american association of geographers and there he mentioned resources are not they are created so aap aise nahi consider kar sakte jo jo resource aaj hai wohi resource rahenge maybe lithium Say after 50, like before uh, 20 year, lithium. No one imagined lithium just would be like a considered as a white gold. That jitna iska significance aaj hai. So 20 year pehle iska significance tha hi nahi. Or jab ye theory bani the tab to tha hi nahi. It was like petroleum mainly for this proponents. However, what happened after 50 years? You will find now lithium is a game changer, right? Aise hi corresponding resources change hote rahenge and society evolution you will find lead to that way. so you can counter it say by the means of possibilistic approach new determinism approach partly as well okay where man is equally an active agent right and then conclusion of this trend seventh a explain with suitable diagram august loss model of the theory of loop related to the center place why has this been criticized 15 marks and itna repeated question hai dekho optional ka ek benefit hota hai that like if guys you have decided to for geography optional i'm telling you ki jitne zyada ho sakte ho previous years question paper review karte raho the more believe me the more you reviews right the more you revise those previous year question papers okay again and again believe me you will have a good idea good understanding of this examination and this paper would be somehow predictable for you then but only if i am telling you agar questions revise kar rahe ho question paper revise kar rahe ho on regular basis so ye question 16 11 2002 2, number of times aa chuka hai theek hai see what are start with the loss model and the right context set the right context for it right what is loss model or august loss model is just an advancement or extension of the walter crystallars model that was based on identification of central place location that would lead to profit maximization as in it is based on 
मार्केट बेस्ड मॉडल और मार्केट डिमांड एंड सप्लाई बेस्ड मॉडल विच कंसिडर्ड सर्विस एज और सर्विस एज मेजर एक्टिविटी एज इन देर आर लाइक एज इट इज अ क्वान्टिटेटिव रिवोल्यूशन बेस्ड मॉडल देर आर सम ऑब्जेक्टिव देर आर सम एजम्शन अर्थ सर्फेस हाईली आइसोट्रॉपिक प्लेन इन नेचर the demand remain constant with the uh, like say even if supply is changing however uh, with change in the distance the demand decreases right to bahut sare uh, assumptions rahenge and then how the process of development of center place right ab yahan pe wo theory puri explain to nahi kar paunga main but yes right in our class already right we have discussed this particular okay then you will find there you need to mention about the process okay the process of development of any center place how center place develops in that way then that thing and then the applicability in the today's world today's time then criticisms of this field okay criticisms are like this model is consider man as highly economic and rational though man is not volpert has criticized this a lot then isotropic surface no no real time case model is very complex it consider 150 range of goods and services there theek hai to ye sab kuch cheeze hai right jab class ab attend karoge to aapko ye cheeze sab kuch samajh aayegi and then conclusion okay conclusion next 7th b how can sustainable land management harmonize the complementary goals of environmental economic and social opportunities ंट्री गोल ऑफ एस डी जीज आई वुड से तो भी गलत नहीं होगा दीज आर ऑल क्लब इन एस डी जीज सेवेंटीन गोल्स आर देर एंड यूल फाइंड दोज आर ऑल मेन है ना तो अब इस क्वेश्चन के लिए आई बिलीव That you should remember SDGs. अगर एस डी जीज याद होंगे तो आप देखोगे कि ये क्वेश्चन बहुत सही से कनेक्ट होगा सही से एड्रेस भी होगा इवेल्युएटर वुड रादर फाइंड योर आंसर मोर इम्प्रेसिव सो फर्स्ट यू नीड टू डिफाइन वॉट इज सस्टेनेबल लैंड मैनेजमेंट वॉट एग्जैक्टली इट इज एंड देर यू नीड टू कोट एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन राइट अगर देखो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिपोर्ट या कुछ ऐसे फैक्ट अगर कोट करोगे that gives your answer a worth that gives your answer a value so the like world overview of conservation approaches and technology definition slm is defined as the use of land resources including soils water animals and plants for the production of goods to meet the changing demand okay human needs while simultaneously ensuring the long term productive potential of those resources and the characteristics of their environmental inferences so you need to define the sustainable land use management first and then various points in and then it is asking you for how can it harmonize okay how can it harmonize the social economic and political right cultural opportunities as so bas aapko fir yahan pe connect karna hai how it can harmonize this way so how sustainable land use management will help for societal stability how it help for agriculture development how it help for food and nutrition production how it will help for women empowerment how it will help for to reduce climate change and related disaster how it will be helpful for say overall uh, say uh, livelihood for all housing for all employment for all health for all and all those aspects so jitna broad basis pe connect karoge believe me ye question utna better address hoga and connecting with sdg sustainable development goals so uh, uh, it is my genuine advice to you guys right if you are watching this long so do revise do remember all 17 goals of sdgs yeah agar all 17 goals of sdgs agar aap revise karoge believe me that will help you a lot right just not for this question only right 
बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन में मैंने आपको बोला कि कंक्लूजन में आप एच यूज कर सकते हो एच जी या मे बी इंट्रोडक्शन में कर सकते हो सो इट्स लाइक दैट पर्टिकुलर यूज दैट द वे यू फाइंड इट सुटेबल देन द स्टेजेस ऑफ डेमोग्राफिक ट्रांजिशन और ए रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ एन इवेंट इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट अक्रॉस दी ग्लूब एक्सप्लेन विद सुटेबल एग्जाम्पल्स सो सी क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू फॉर सी इसका जो थ्योरी है दट इज डेमोग्राफिक ट्रांजिशन गिवेन बाय नोट एंड थॉम्सन इन 19 लाइक नाइनटीन थर्ड ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव यू विल फाइंड दैट थ्योरी एज एनी सोसाइटी इट वेंट थ्रू ओके लाइक डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ ट्रांजिशन ओके इट वेंट थ्रू डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ ट्रांजिशन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम रे स्टेज वन टू स्टेज Five initially those were three only. However, later you will find those were like hardly, like two were added by okay Sachs or uh, the Hadget okay two were added by this one okay four and five high stationary first stage जहाँ पे birth rate और death rate high होगा then you will find second uh, say <coughs> low uh, stability ठीक है then high stability वाला case है then लो स्टेशनरी वाला केस है एंड देन फिफ्थ है डिक्लाइनिंग स्टेज देर यू नीड टू मेंशन हाउ एवरी कंट्री राइट हाउ द सोशो इकोनॉमिक स्टेजेस आर राइट अ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्टेजेस एक रिस्पेक्टिव एग्जांपल कि फर्स्ट में इरिट्रिया आएगा फर्स्ट में सोमालिया आएगा सेकेंड में आएगा पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश थर्ड में आएगा इंडिया एंड दैट रीजन ओके मे बी डिफरेंट स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल देन यू विल फाइन फोर्थ like russia china those are now faring towards and in the fifth okay like germany russia okay or like japan or uh, say uh, that uh, lithuania these are all faring over in this particular head and what do you have to you have to mention say how this demographic transitions are stages of different evolution in the overall nations development yes तो यू नीड टू मेंशन दिस थिंग एंड यू विल फाइंड कि ये आंसर आपका हो जाएगा सही से आई होप ये चीजें आपको क्लियर हो रही है गाइस एंड एब्सोल्युटली इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एज वेल ठीक है लास्ट क्वेश्चन इन फैक्ट ना मींस एबीसी है इसमें थ्री फर्दर स्टिल रूरल सेटलमेंट्स आर एक्सप्रेशंस ऑफ द बेसिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स एंड देयर फिजिकल एंड सोशल एनवायरमेंट डिस्कस ये रूरल सेटलमेंट दीज आर सिंपली more like say are the reflections of like the impact of nature on human being deterministic approach the rural settlements are reflections of humans adaptation active adaptation to mm. environment limitations possibilist approach new determinism is what the rural settlements are expressions of a counteracting or not counteracting as to say right say like a reflection of a swift okay interaction between humans and physical and social environment right ye ho gaya neo determinism approach jahan pe human bhi physical social environment pe impact kar raha hai simultaneously this as well leading to impact on human behavior ये हो गया काइंड ऑफ नियो डिटर्मिनिज्म और इवन पार्टली लाइक पॉसिबिलिज्म एज वेल कल्चरल लैंडस्केप आई वुड लाइक टू कनेक्ट दिस इंट्रोडक्शन विद द कल्चरल लैंडस्केप ऑफ कार्ल ओ सॉर अकॉर्डिंग टू कार्ल ओ सॉर कल्चरल लैंडस्केप कांसेप्ट दैट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एनी लैंडस्केप कल्चरल लैंडस्केप इज एक्चुअली रिजल्ट ऑफ ह्यूमंस इंपैक्ट एंड नेचरस इंपैक्ट ऑन ईच अदर सो हाउ दिस रूरल सेटलमेंट आर रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ दिस फैक्ट्स तो वहां पे फिर आपको यही करना है लाइक रिफ्लेक्शन इन सेंस कि रूरल एरियाज में लोकेशन uh, कैसे डिफाइंड होगा वहां पे ह्यूमन और नेचर uh, का रिलेशन कैसे हो रहा है या रूरल सेटलमेंट का एरिया कितना होगा वहां पे ह्यूमन एंड एरिया नेचर का इंपैक्ट कैसे है राइट right? क्योंकि अगर बेसिकली फॉर एग्जांपल किसी एरिया पे जहां पे रूरल एरियाज है उसका वेस्ट एक्सपेंशन क्यों नहीं हो रहा क्योंकि वहां पर माउंटेन रेंज है इट मे बी केस ह्यूमन मे लीड टू एक्सपेंशन टूवर्ड्स ईस्ट the reason may be say humans adaptability to the conditions why a particular topography uh, sorry morphology of rural settlement you will find ki that is maybe due to impact on human culture religion ki koi agar basically if you find that the region like in uh, uh, in europe 
मे बी क्रिश्चियनिटी ओरिएंटेड है तो उसका जो स्ट्रक्चर होगा वो डिफरेंट होगा अगर गोवा में अगर आप रूरल एरियाज देखोगे तो वो गोवा के जो रूरल एरियाज है और मे बी लाइक नियर बाय महाराष्ट्र कर्नाटक है रूरल एरियाज डिफरेंट है क्यों क्योंकि इनमें जो कल्चरल इंपैक्ट है वो डिफरेंट है राइट मे बी हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट एज वेल ह्यूमन एंड फिजिकल एनवायरमेंट राइट सोशल एनवायरमेंट यू विल फाइंड से रूरल एरियाज आर सिंपली रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ ऑल दिस फैक्टर सी क्लाइमेट एवरग्रीन डेंस फॉरेस्ट रहेगा या टाइप ऑफ न्यूक्लियर सेटलमेंट होगी या डिस्पर्स सेटलमेंट होगी या सेमी न्यूक्लियटेड होगी इट डिफेंड्स ऑन दिस पोस्टल इकोलॉजी एग्रीकल्चर कल्चर ऑफ द ह्यूमन एंड ऑल दिस फैक्टर्स विल फाइंड दिस आर लाइक से यू वेर एवर इट इज पॉसिबल यू नीड टू मेंशन ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स कि हाउ नेचर एंड फिजिकल सोशल एनवायरमेंट आर राइट सॉरी ह्यूमन एंड दोज एनवायरमेंट आर हैविंग the stiff interaction which leads to development of rural system okay however this relationship is not straight and plain always but changes with space and time conclusion you can further conclude with this or you can continue that way next 8 b describe the concept of planning region the introduction itself राइट right. देखो मैं साथ ही साथ जैसे क्वेश्चन रीड कर रहा हूं मैं साथ ही साथ आपको बता भी रहा हूं कि आपको स्ट्रक्चर भी कैसे प्रिपेयर करना है या डिफाइन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्लानिंग रीजन एक्सप्लेन द एनवायरमेंटल एंड इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स इन क्रिएशन ऑफ सच रीजन तो अब प्लानिंग रीजन क्या होता है इट इज सिंपली लाइक इफ यू आस्क विटल सी इट इज सिंपली ए रीजन और होमोजीनस सेटलमेंट ऑफ लैंड हैविंग ओके वेर सम इकोनॉमिक डिसीजन आर टू बी अप्लाइड for the purpose of planning those uh, resources or utilization of those resources so this planning region like best example delhi ncr like mumbai metropolitan region like new york wala case hai ya basically planning region matlab state bhi ho sakta hai district bhi ho sakta hai rural areas bhi ho sakta hai urban areas bhi ho sakta hai whatever like you find it right so planning region is simply may have administrative or political regions such as state district block because such regions are better in management and for collecting stati statistical data now body what is the main body taking various examples taking various examples how environmental factors right it leads to it leads to say this planning region then it leads to ecosystem stability how dekho ये एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर्स आपको कैसे एक किसी भी प्लानिंग रीजन को बनाने में हेल्प करते हैं जैसे जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल डेली एनसीआर प्लानिंग रीजन है तो हाउ दिस डेली एनसीआर हिज डेवलपमेंट एंड बॉर्डर आइडेंटिफिकेशन इज डन बाय एनवायरमेंटल फैक्टर इन कंसीडरेशन इकोसिस्टम स्टेबिलिटी कि कितना रीजन की इकोसिस्टम स्टेबिलिटी है इन्वॉल्वमेंट क्या है डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज मे बी फॉरेस्टेड रीजंस एंड ऑल दोस राइट देन रिसोर्स बैलेंस ओवर देयर कैरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द रीजन then disaster and preparedness over in the region these are all ecological factor environmental factor you need to keep it in mind national park agar define karna hai you have to consider food chain food web tiger agar cheetah agar le aana hai from africa you have to consider uska prey base kitna hai how much how many animals does it require to just like say for the whole survival of ecosystem so the thing is ke this environmental factors help you to identify planning region getting it guys then how economical factors how economical factors you will find like economic indicators like gdp gnp per capita income etc are is responsible for planning region apart from economic rent okay ab dekho yahan pe geography ki concept leni hai economic rent hai you can connect with the uh, adam smith's economic rent concept hai land use pattern uh, von thuren's model hai theek hai jo bhi aap use kar sakte ho then range and threshold of goods hai that is what the crystallars identification industrial processing marketing labor and administrative weber's industrial model then mobility and migration so the thing is ye ho gaye economical factor in determination of planning region environmental factor in determination of planning region however don't forget to mention these are not the two only there are some other factors that planner need to consider a while arriving at a decision apart from this you have to consider political historical cultural administrative and all factors so that you will arrive at such a region that reflects all its integrate uh, you know inter 
uh, integrate uh, understanding about the subject so that it, that would be a kind of perfect planning not perfect planning koi perfect nahi hoti ideal case hai but still that would lead to the best suitable development of a region tokyo metropolitan region development या जापान एज ए कंट्री एट डेवलपमेंट या कोई भी एक रीजन ले सकते हो छोटा नागपुर प्लेटू से दामोदर वैली डेवलपमेंट कॉर्पोरेशन ये क्या यही तो है द सेम थिंग लाइक प्लानिंग रीजन एज ओके यू कैन ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम वेर एवर पॉसिबल ड्रॉ और एड सम फ्लो चार्ट सम माइक्रो डायग्राम देन यूल फाइंड दैट इज इजी टू डील विथ आई होप गाइज यू हैव लॉर्ड्स ऑफ इनपुट्स Insights, right? कि पेपर को अप्रोच कैसे आई ट्राइड माई बेस्ट जस्ट टू यू हेल्प यू आउट गाइज ये देखो एज आई टोल्ड यू इन दिरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ दिस सेशन दैट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डिस्कस द होल पेपर एज इन डिटेल उसके लिए तो आपको एट क्वेश्चन है ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑलमोस्ट क्वेश्चन है यूल फाइन उस चीज के लिए हमारे पास मीन्स इट वुड रैदर टेक अ डे राइट आंसर और सब कुछ चीजें करने में बट नाउ कीपिंग दट लिमिटेशन इन माइंड आई एम फोकसिंग ऑन लाइक आई आई कंसिडर कि आपके पास बेसिक इनफ नॉलेज है या जो एक बेसिक एक एक एक्सपीरियंट के पास होना चाहिए दैट इज ट्राइंग टू प्रिपेयर फॉर यूपीएससी राइट सो लाइक कीपिंग दो सिंग इन माइंड आई हैव ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन राइट जैट वॉट शुड बी दी लाइक दी ओवरऑल अप्रोच फॉर द पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन डिमांड क्या होगी वहां पे किस एरिया की की वर्ड पे फोकस करना है देन इंट्रोडक्शन मेन बॉडी कंक्लूजन क्या चाहिए डायग्राम्स कैसे चाहिए तो आप बाकी कुछ और एडिशंस कर सकते हो क्या इन दैट पर्टिकुलर वे राइट एंड इफ यू रियली लाइक दिस वीडियो जस्ट डोंट जस्ट डोंट फेल टू लाइक इट ओके कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब टू इट राइट so i wish you all the best and we will be having a second uh, video as well okay for the same thing of paper 2 discussion geography optional paper 2 2023 discussion so i hope you guys will join me again over there i wish you all the best okay and all for all your future endeavors thank you mm -hmm.